Was it nice to go back now? Like, oh at my this stage gosh, of life? yes. Like reminding me of so much of the mm-hmm. parts of me I loved. You know, like I felt like a kid again. I'm going all these. I was in my bedroom as a kid. You know, all of that was like a healthy reminder given the last two years of all the crap that happened. I, I don't even think people understand for me it was really something because I there was this lawsuit. Well, there was, I think, four lawsuits. <laughs> my best friend died in my arms. My mom got cancer. My parents divorced. And then there's other stuff that just... But like this was all in the span of a year, really. And so like that year, I was like, man, what like what is going on? You know, like it, it was so much happening at once I couldn't even like believe and it's still a process of working that all through your head but at the same time I was like I need to I need to make a decision right now if I'm gonna let this control me and my thoughts throughout my day or if I'm gonna choose to to in a good way move on and move forward and that choice changed everything for me because I mean I'm telling you it was it was a hectic two years I knew about everything but I didn't know about your best friend passing yeah well Corey uh, yeah I I don't know if you might I mean yeah he was mm-hmm. he was a, he was a well-known dude I, quite the stud I knew of him yeah yeah he's tatted on me right here that night he he was from Australia he was a drinker and so he was he, he it was his birthday yeah. um and he had been drinking quite a bit as we always did together we, we were <laughs> we were at some party kids we were having fun I mean I was like I don't even know how old I was when we were having fun together but that night, he took a tattoo gun. He was, you know, he had a couple of drinks and he tattooed his name <laughs> on his own leg upside down. <laughs> and so, like, all the friends that were there ended up getting that exact tattoo. So I have, like, Corey in, like, the funniest font on my leg right now. But it was crazy, man, because I actually wasn't... I was working on a song idea that day, as I always am. And... He had his birthday party set, and I, I was like, I'm going to get there a little late. You know, I'm working on this. I want to get it done. And I showed up there. Uh, I showed up there a little late. When I pulled up, the Lambo he was in, it, it was a friend, sh- like, showing off his new car, you know. It drove off, and I didn't think anything of it because I just got there. Like, I just pulled up. And I walked in the door, like, where's my boy, you know. And everyone's walking towards the door and I'm like what like what's going on oh Corey just got in that Lambo with Daniel like everyone knows you know Daniel Silva this guy uh he was a tattoo artist that Corey looked up to a ton and they had both been drinking skirted off you got to an accident I didn't even know and so I go oh and as like they told me that I hear a poof, you know you hear the sound and we go out and like two blocks down, I just like see it like coming off the tree. And I'm like, <sighs> we get down there. And the craziest thing is like, this is like the whole birthday party. Like it's all his best friends. And like, it's morbid in a sense and like kind of bittersweet where it's like, whoa, like what a crazy way to go. I guess if it was gonna happen that all your friends were there, were there to help. Me and my friend Oscar, adrenaline going through us, just yanked the door off, pulled him out, like, you know, the whole thing went to the ER, and we all just waited out there for, like, an hour, and, like, that's where it was crazy. We're all thinking, like, there's no way that he's not going to come out, and a doctor comes out, and he was like, yeah, no, it, it, you know, it's, it's not looking like it's, and, like, it's crazy because things happen in life where like you don't think it's really happening and it's too surreal and three months later it hits you this was different it was so real that it just <laughs> like Bro, it you pulled hit him out of the car immediately yeah and when he, when they said like he's not gonna make it like that moment i swear it took me a year and a half to like get back to life not being too real like before nothing mattered the second those words came out of that dude's mouth, everything mattered for a good year. Every word that came out of people's mouths like, did something to me. Like, it it was a weird... And I haven't... I mean, this is one of my first times even, like, talking very openly about it because it was so hard to even, like... I would say, like, 
I could like have those small talk where I'd be like, yeah, it happened, and then like move on from it. Yeah. Very weird thing to process because it's like it's bigger than you. It's outside of your control, and that was tough for me not being able to like control the situation and just like accept it. But also, sec. true character is tested in those moments. Oh my gosh, yeah, and that's where I'm like the person who runs that's... towards the explosion. Yeah, but again, like it the taught same me way. Of and I can everything see it in my head. Oh well, yeah, it's horrendous. I, I'm so sorry that you went through that. Oh well, thank you. Yeah, and I mean, it was the right. You did the right happens, thing, but it sticks you know, with you forever. Happens. Yeah, and I, I don't know. It did for a while. Everything mattered before nothing mattered. And I do think the silver lining, like the, if I find a gift in it, all it taught me there's like a middle ground where stuff does matter. I think words really do matter, but those nuances of like awkward silence or messing up or you know when when you feel like the room's closing in on you and whatnot that does not matter like laugh it off it does not matter you True. know and mm -hmm. that used to be my whole personality to a point where like nothing matter and that's unhealthy you know i i used to have a problem where i wouldn't text my family enough and keep up with the people i love enough because i was in my own world too much and now i'm like man family's everything like there are things that matter and so like i do think the lesson in that was like finding a balance of like choosing what matters and what doesn't you know that that yeah 100 percent. yeah can I mean, you, like I, i'm just can you see that like does that moment replay in your head often oh yeah 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 it's crazy i like i i've heard some people say like if when a traumatic event happens, you like can't picture it or remember it, that you block it out. Pfft, didn't happen for me. It's like, pfft, can definitely see it. Crazy. It'll black out eventually. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I know. I'm. I'm telling you. Know, you know, though, like, I, I've come to. I've. I've come can, to enough terms with it, where now I just understand. Like that is life. You yeah. know. <laughs> you know. But before, before I, and I thank my parents for this. Even my whole upbringing. My parents were so great that it felt like way more of this than this. And yeah. maybe that's why this hit so hard, but I thank them for it. My upbringing was amazing. I mean, my parents were so amazing. They hid so much of the negative side of the world from us in, in such an amazing way. And it gave us this light that like, I'm so proud of. This was a tough battle, but for me on my own to figure out how to like grab onto some light again and like choose mm. to be that person again like i don't know it yeah it was exciting for me you know are you able to forgive daniel siva that's his name right the uh tattoo artist uh we'll see okay oh uh, uh i tried to i tried to talk to i saw him once i i tried to talk to him and it, it wasn't a good first combo so i i don't know we'll mm. Where, we'll see where were you that he was in the same place oh it was just i mean it was weird because it was it was not it was maybe like six to eight months after it happened i hadn't gone out in a while and someone like invited me out to it was just some like party in the hills that i was at and that that's the last place i would expect to see him i guess even but i don't know at the end of the day man i'm trying to come to terms with also like the fact that he's human and like trying to understand where his head has to be at and you know we all make mistakes and like there's no part of me that also thinks that that guy intended mm -hmm. to do that accidents happen you know and so i'm trying to have like a empathetic heart on it you know and try to be i i, I don't know i just think everyone's capable of mistake and so i don't want to take that sort of anger to the grave with something like that you know that doesn't feel right so yeah i don't know i would love to i would love to talk to him at a time that makes sense i think that would be good but i don't know i i don't like the idea of just like pinning it on this guy as this thing he intended upon i don't think that was at all you know no one in, mm. no one intends to do something like that was your first that. interaction with him different than the conversation we're having now yeah, no, I was definitely, it was a heat of a moment conversation. Yeah. It was, it was too <laughs> soon. Yeah. Too soon. It's, it was too soon for both of us. And, 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 uh, and we walked away pretty quick. I think it was good for both of us to walk away because it was too soon. And by the way, some clarity, like I, I said before, things like that, they're traumatic. It gets dimmer and dimmer as time goes on, but you never forget it. Right. I think it, it may not visit you 
unvoluntarily or unwarranted. Yeah. But the second you tap into that moment, you can see it just as vividly as it was happening. Oh, yeah. That, I, I, I can tell, yeah. you know, I've had, saved a lot of people from overdosing. And wow. I can look back at every single one of those moments in the most vivid of way. Dude, that says even more about you. Though. Yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that, dude, you got, yeah. you got an overage of light coming off you that is like, people watching this like they can see it but to feel it is something else it's it's both of you it's so special to know on top of that you've seen some of the horrors that the world can bring you to that personal extent not but easy i i just want to say thank you to you for sharing that because i that, yeah. i know thanks for well bringing it out of me in a way that felt so right the reason it's not, i not easy to do no, really. but it's also really hard and in, 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 in to revisit that in any situation sure is never a welcomed yeah it's yeah. it's it's yeah it's super hard and like it's weird I, I it's could, just so real yeah. you know that's what's crazy it's so real nothing more real than it really and as you were you telling know? us i could feel it and i can i could see it and i, I mm. you're people who run towards moments like that again is a true test of their character and their person yeah so you know really well, thanks the right thing i'd say admirable but the right thing to do man you know I want to hug you Integrity. all right now. What were you saying? Sorry. I want to give you all a big old no, hug. No, I was just saying when I reacted to what you said that is because like as you're talking, like my best friend died in an accident like seven years ago. Oh my and, gosh. Like, it doesn't get easier. You, the, wow. What you just talked about now is more than I've spoken about in seven years. Wow. I won't talk about it. Dude, so, I like, don't blame you, you. Yeah. I so get, that's dude. what I mean. Like, so you talking about it is like that. that is more than I've ever spoken about it. Oh man. I won't well, talk about it. Thanks for saying that. Yeah. It's just too hard to talk no, about. No, it's, it. dude. Yeah, it, 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 everyone is different, you know, and you just got to respect that. Mm -hmm. I, I think that quote on its own could go so many places. <laughs> everyone is different. Yeah. You got to respect that. Absolutely. You know? But, man, I'm sorry. It's, hey. No, you said it's life. It's something no. to relate on for yeah. sure. That's crazy. But I thank you for sharing that, too, because I, I remember when that happened. We only, we only had one conversation about it. Because I called you at the, right around the time. Yeah, no, seriously. Literally, we for talked for that. 0.5 seconds about it. It's crazy. So thank you for sharing that. I crazy. really appreciate that. But man, like the fact that y'all are so jolly is so awesome. <laughs> okay. 